What's up everybody, it's Crypto Jazz here from the Crypto Group. Um, firstly, I apologise for not doing any videos recently. I've been suffering with a throat infection, hence the voice, so I'll try to do as good as I can. <coughs> so yeah, um, a bit different from the normal videos I do. Um, obviously, there's a lot of FUD around at the moment with the high yield interest programmes. I do still believe that there's got ones that will stand the test of time, so like your Falcon coin, Home Block coin, Eigen monetized coin that's coming out as well um, but the likes of Divorex is scamming Lupex um, but obviously the, the big connect up in the year we have extra coin, Unix coin, Aries coin and these all came around out at roughly the same time in ICO as Falcon so yeah it does remain to be seen um, but I'm not actually talking about that today I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin the reason I'm going to do this little video is because um, I just got back from the London Affiliate Conference in the UK and for those of you who know me, my background is in online marketing and affiliate marketing I used to be a semi-professional poker player as well as a financial advisor for a well-known retail store outlet um, but obviously I do need to make it work I am no longer a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is just my take on where I think Bitcoin is going um, so yeah and obviously you follow my passive income journey so I gave a talk in London on the Friday regarding um, affiliate opportunities in crypto obviously how people could and uh, marketers could advertise for like these high yield interest programs exchanges such as Binance and also how they, they can get in at the ground level on the ICOs and then kind of 10x, 20x on these ICOs as well but what came out of um, the tour that I did and obviously the, community, the conversations that I had with with um, the audience afterwards is a lot of them obviously wants to know what's happening with Bitcoin, is it a bubble, is it going to burst, um, a lot of them asking my predictions on Bitcoin, this is why I'm going to do this video and it was a kind of mixed bag really because some people knew what Bitcoin was, a lot of them was, was some people were very knowledgeable, they were trading, they were swing trading, day trading like I do. Others, I've heard of Bitcoin but was a bit sceptical um, with the recent FUD and didn't really want to lose any money. Um, so yeah, so the, it was a kind of a mixed bag. So I said, I, I said when I get home I'd do this little video showing, showing my take on it. Um, obviously, I get people to do their own homework as well. So. I done this little chart and I done it probably probably ended it in December. And I tried to figure out where I thought Bitcoin was going. So obviously there was the lowest low. Um obviously we've got some some trend levels here. Uh, the greens that were basically where we to start. So there was the main one at eight thousand. We had set a lower low with a seven two. Um and obviously at our high when we was nineteen, nearly twenty thousand. And we obviously run this downward trend, trend now at the moment. But if we zoom in, we can see we are slowly starting to get it back. So I'll show you why I drew this pattern. Right, okay, so obviously we're coming down here. We can see the W pattern here, and all of a sudden we dropped it down here. And you can see obviously that we went below the lower low. Um, it was worrying time for it, we bounced back. Um, and we seem to be struggling on this uptrend at the moment and kind of consolidating back sideways. And obviously there's still a lot of news. There's the recent stock market crash. Um, there's the kind of Indian FUD. There's the Korean FUD, Chinese FUD. Then Indian, like India, two days later saying, no, 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 we're not paying Bitcoin. I mean, we've been in this market, well, I have for long enough now to realise, obviously it's all fake news to do it to bring the price down so they can buy the dip. Um, but I do think it's going to take a lot longer, this correction um, and this wave three than what we predict. So if we zoom in a bit further, okay, so you can see there's, there's the line there set, but there's, there's the kind of, um, I can't think what it's called now, but there's, there's the, uh, the resistance line basically that we're setting, and this is the upward trend line, and what, and then there's the high, there's the recent, there's the high that we recently had as well. And we consolidate and we, we kind of need to break out of this and it, it's not happening anytime soon unfortunately and um, you can see off the buy and sell walls they're, they're kind of mixed 
Um, there's no resistance really, so I think we've basically got a trade in between here. We kind of need to finish, zoom in a bit. Um, we can see, unfortunately, this looks kind of like a head and shoulders pattern. Whenever we see it, obviously it's not double, double bottoms, but whenever you see a head and shoulders pattern, it's normally a, a sign of a trend reversal. You could argue that this was a bullish run. So we could be going into another bull run, uh, another bear run, sorry. We could be heading back down to retest the lower low um, before we bounce back up. Um, but obviously there's, it seems to, if we go have a quick look at crypto coin market cap, it's, it's not really down. It seems to be kind of consolidating trading sideways. All the old coins are kind of doing their own thing along with it. Um, the market cap for the past couple of days, I stayed around about 420 billion, 400 billion. We can see the average 24 volume is 20 billion. Um, Bitcoin dominance obviously is a lot lower from last year. It's still around about 34, 35%. So I do think we're in this kind of consolidation period at the moment, guys. Um, I am kind of waiting to see what happens with this. I'm hoping that we kind of finish above this line. If we finish above this line, what will happen is, if we just draw it a second, I think if we finish above here, we'll probably trade, trade kind of here, the, 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 and then I think we'll probably test this W pattern again here, and then we'll probably shoot up to test the other support around here, something like that anyway. If not, we're going to probably consolidate around this level for a bit, we'll bounce around in here, and then we'll probably end up going down to here again and then we'll, we'll probably come back bounce around do the W here and then obviously come up test this slide of support a bit of consolidation here and then go back up to the 10 um, but if you can see that if you can just zoom out you can see obviously we're on February 12th February 11th at the moment um, if we zoom out a bit further so I'll just get off that and the wedge really isn't really happening until for about another month, from March 12th. So I do think that in this period of consolidation, I do think we should buy the dips. I think we, I think we do need to ride out a bit and, and, and see where it leads. But I'm going to leave this pattern up here. Obviously, I'll get rid of the squiggles. And um, over the next few videos that I'm going to do, over the next couple of days, we'll just we'll keep coming back to this towards the end of the video. We'll just see where my predictions are and see if we're correct. Um, but yeah, that was it. Just I promised the audience when I was there and the people who spoke to that do this quick video. Um, if you've not already subscribed, please like, like, um, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. And until next time, everybody, goodbye.